In today's epic video, we'll journey through over 50 years of NASA's Mars exploration missions and highlight all the groundbreaking discoveries made so far. Mars has captivated humans for centuries as it appears so familiar yet so mysterious. But it wasn't until the 1960s when our understanding transformed from a fuzzy red dot in the night sky into a world of tantalizing geography and secrets. NASA's probes have revealed Mars to be a complex planetary system harboring clues about the evolution of planets like our own. From dusty plains to weather patterns to the chemistry of rocks, each mission has uncovered new pieces of the puzzles of Mars past and present. We'll traverse chronologically through all the major milestones, from the first flyby providing our initial glimpse to the advanced rovers analyzing rocks for signs of life. I'll explain how each finding provides another clue about Mars' potential for hosting life, its dramatic climate shifts over time, and what hidden secrets may still lie beneath the rusty sands. So get ready for a deep dive into the monumental NASA missions and discoveries that have shaped our understanding of the mysterious red planet. Mariner 4 First Mars Flyby We begin in 1964 when NASA's Mariner 4 probe launched on an eight-month journey to become the first spacecraft to visit Mars. On July 14, 1965, Mariner 4 conducted a flyby of Mars from approximately 6,118 miles above the surface. While designed only for a quick look, Mariner 4 beamed back 21 photos and data that provided our first up-close glimpse of another planet. The images revealed an eerie cratered landscape that differed remarkably from Earth. Mariner 4 measured frigid surface temperatures averaging 108 degrees Fahrenheit and an extremely thin atmosphere. It detected no magnetic field or radiation belts around Mars. While covering only 1% of Mars, Mariner 4's observations shattered optimistic expectations of an Earth-like world and indicated a barren, seemingly lifeless neighbor. But it laid the groundwork for future missions to unravel the mysteries. Mariner 6 and 7 flybys Several later Mariner probes conducted Mars flybys through the late 1960s, scouting landing sites for more complex missions. Mariner 6 and 7 flew by Mars in 1969 and analyzed the atmosphere's composition in infrared and ultraviolet light. They provided more data on temperatures, surface features, and absence of magnetic fields, further characterizing the planet. Mariner 9 First Orbiter and Detailed Maps Building on the flybys, NASA launched Mariner 9 in 1971 to become the first artificial satellite of Mars. After entering orbit in November, its cameras were blocked by a global dust storm. But a few months later, the storm settled and Mariner 9 mapped the entire planet. Mariner 9 revealed Mars to be a world with towering volcanoes, massive canyons, river valley networks and the solar system's largest volcano Olympus Mons. It detected water ice at the South Pole. The orbiters studied wind patterns and imaged geological features obviously sculpted by flowing liquid water. This provided definitive evidence Mars was not always a freeze-dried desert. In addition to imagery, Mariner 9 mapped surface topography, gravity, magnetic fields, atmospheric composition, and day-night temperature shifts. It paved the way for long-term atmospheric studies from orbit. Viking 1 and 2 landers and orbiters After Mariner 9 scouted Mars from above, NASA was ready to land spacecraft on the surface by the mid-1970s. The ambitious Viking program consisted of two identical missions Viking 1 launched in August 1975, followed by Viking 2 in September. Each included an orbiter and lander. On June 19, 1976, Viking 1 became the first spacecraft to successfully land on Mars. Its lander separated from the orbiter and touched down on the plane Kreis Planitia. It sent back the first surface-level images of the rocky, reddish terrain. On July 20, Viking 1 made history again by scooping up soil samples for analysis. It tested for signs of microbial respiration and organic compounds using three biology experiments. While results were inconclusive, Viking performed the first search for life beyond Earth. The landers also studied weather, imaging the landscape and monitoring seismic activity. The orbiters generated detailed maps and studied the atmosphere and meteorology over multiple Martian years. So the comprehensive Viking program provided our first complete long-term view of Mars' climate, geology and surface composition, paving the way for future exploration. Mars Global Surveyor 
After over a decade without an active Mars mission, NASA returned in 1996 with the Mars Global Surveyor Orbiter. Using a technique called aerobraking, Surveyor lowered its orbit by flying through the upper atmosphere for hundreds of passes over several years. This allowed it to study the planet from a very low orbit. Some of Global Surveyor's key discoveries included high-resolution images revealing gullies and layers created by Waterloo more recently than expected. This suggested Mars maintained environments potentially conducive to life later in its history. Laser mapping of the planet's topography and gravity, giving clues to its interior. Evidence of buried water ice near the poles. Mapping of surface minerals that form in the presence of water. So, Mars Global Surveyor shed light on the role of water and climate change in shaping Mars surface features. Mars Pathfinder Mission and Sojourner Rover. Riding the wave of Mars Global Surveyor's successes, NASA sought to deploy the first rover on Mars with its Mars Pathfinder mission. The tiny Sojourner rover was released on July 4, 1997 to demonstrate mobility and technology. During its lifetime, Sojourner analyzed the composition of rocks and soil, sent back over 16,000 images, and studied the climate. It established that Mars rocks share properties with terrestrial rocks but have higher sulfur and bromine levels. Sojourner helped pave the way for more advanced robotic rovers. Mars Odyssey Orbiter Launched in 2001, Mars Odyssey is the longest surviving continually active spacecraft at Mars. Among its major findings, detecting vast amounts of water ice just below the Martian surface, which future explorers could exploit. Identifying chemicals like magnesium and iron oxides with infrared imaging of the surface. Studying radiation levels to determine potential exposure hazards for future human missions. In addition to its own science mission, Odyssey acts as a vital orbiter relay for surface rovers and landers to this day. Mars Exploration Rover's Spirit and Opportunity In 2003, NASA landed two identical rover missions several weeks apart on opposite sides of Mars Spirit and Opportunity. About the size of golf carts, this pair pursued geology field studies across the Martian terrain for years. Among their key findings, Evidence that Mars had hot springs or steam vents in the past that could support microbial life, discovered by Spirit. Discovering hematite deposits by opportunity, indicating past standing water. Hematite usually forms in water on Earth. During their multi-year lifespan, the rovers transformed our understanding of past wet environments on Mars that may have been habitable. Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter As the Mars Exploration Rovers completed their surface studies, NASA launched its most powerful Mars orbiter, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. It contains advanced cameras, spectrometers, radars, and telecom systems tailored for studying the planet's environment. Some of its numerous discoveries include 3D topographical maps revealing thousands of surface features like ancient flood channels, vast water ice deposits near the surface and at both poles, global weather patterns over decades such as giant dust devils and avalanches. In addition to its own science mission, Reconnaissance Orbiter supports communications for surface missions with its powerful relay. Phoenix Mars Lander The Phoenix Lander touched down in Mars' northern Arctic region in 2008, several months after Reconnaissance Orbiter arrived. Phoenix was the first mission to analyze the Arctic area. Among Phoenix's key accomplishments, exposing subsurface water ice by digging through the soil, which the lander analyzed along with studying atmospheric chemistry. Detecting complex organic compounds and perchlorate salts in the soil samples. Phoenix validated the ability to land in Mars' northern plains and study the frozen water deposits there. Curiosity Rover NASA's car-sized Curiosity Rover landed in 2012 to assess Mars' past habitability. Among its important findings, Evidence that Gale Crater once held a lake and river system with the right ingredients to support microbial life. Discovering organic carbon compounds in ancient mudstone samples. Classifying the modern Martian surface and climate as uninhabitable to current life due to radiation and oxidants. Determining Mount Sharp formed from sedimentary deposits of ancient lakes. Along with providing breathtaking surface images, Curiosity continues analyzing sediment layers for evidence of Mars' potentially habitable past. MAVEN Orbiter The MAVEN Orbiter arrived in 2014 to study Mars' upper atmosphere and climate history. Major Findings 
observing the processes by which Mars lost much of its dense early atmosphere over billions of years. Detecting remnants of this atmospheric loss like metal ions high in the upper atmosphere. Imaging a comet's trail of vaporizing materials as it flew by Mars. By modeling Mars' climate transformation, MAVEN provides insights into its change from an early Earth-like environment. INSIGHT LANDER In 2018, NASA's InSight Lander touched down to probe Mars' deep interior with seismic instruments and heat flow probes. Major accomplishments so far. Returning over 1,300 Marsquake detections to study the planet's seismic activity and interior. Analyzing seismic waves passing through the crust, mantle and core to characterize Mars' structure. Tracking radio signals to precisely measure the planet's rotation and wobbles. While unable to bury its heat probe as intended, InSight has delivered groundbreaking data on Mars' interior composition and dynamics. It continues listening for quakes. Perseverance rover. This brings us to NASA's latest flagship rover, Perseverance. After its thrilling landing in 2021, it has begun its ambitious science goals. Capturing high-resolution imagery of Jezero Crater and Martian landscapes. Performing the first powered helicopter flights on another planet with its companion Ingenuity. Caching dozens of rock core samples for future return to Earth. Detecting carbon dioxide and converting it into oxygen. Identifying promising geology that may contain preserved ancient biosignatures. As Perseverance explores Jezero Crater's ancient river delta, it seeks evidence that microbial life once existed on Mars billions of years ago when conditions were more hospitable. The mission may bring us closer than ever before to answering that tantalizing question. There you have it the monumental journey of NASA's exploration of Mars so far, from fleeting flybys providing our first glimpse to the advanced robotic science labs scrutinizing rocks on the surface today. Each successive mission built upon prior discoveries, unraveling Mars' evolution through time. From ancient magnetic fields and dense atmospheres, to volatile cycling shaping surface geology, to potential chemical ingredients for life, NASA's probes have revealed Mars' compelling story. Major questions remain about whether Mars once harbored microbial life and future missions will keep pursuing evidence embedded in the landscape. As newer technologies like helicopters provide eyes in the sky and long-awaited samples finally return to Earth laboratories, the excitement continues. The quest to understand Earth's neighboring red planet perseveres. Mars continues to excite our imagination and curiosity with each generation of explorers. I can't wait to see what incredible discoveries await in the next 50 years of Mars exploration. Thank you for watching. Let me know which NASA Mars milestones stood out to you most. Subscribe for more space videos every week and I'll see you in the next one.